So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to balance the Sony ZV-E10 with the Sigma 18 to 50 millimeter lens on the Zion Crane M3. For the first one, we have to get the quick release plate for the Zion Crane M3. So it goes here. But we have to put it on the camera first. So I'm gonna release that. And then here's the camera. Put it at the bottom and the triangular part shall be should be on the battery door side. Okay. And the plate the plate should be at the extreme end of the of the quadrilateral side of the plate so there I'm just gonna I'm just gonna screw it on and then I'm gonna set up the camera as how I would be using it so no lens hood no lens cap oh the lens cap came off with the hood and then with the flippy screen open and there so this is how I would use the camera and the lens is zoomed out so it's at 18 millimeters not at 50. it's important to balance the gimbal in the same configuration as you're going to use it so i'm going to use it this way so to mount the quick release plate you have to pull on this latch that says lock and pull it back and then uh, snap it on Oops, sorry, snap it on. Okay, so you'll hear a click and it should be snapped tightly. So right now, all the axes of my Crane M3 are locked. While I balance this, I'm gonna have the gimbal screen facing me. So next, I would have to unlock the roll axis. The camera lens should be facing away from the gimbal's monitor, gimbal screen. Then once it's there, lock the roll axis again. Here, now it's locked. And then I'm gonna unlock the tilt axis. So it's here. Okay, so there, now it's unlocked. So the first thing that we want to do is to make sure that the lens is parallel to the ground. So this is the first adjustment that we're going to make. So this one here, we're gonna loosen this up. And so we're gonna move the camera forwards, forwards or backwards until the camera lens and body are parallel to the ground. So it's still facing downwards. So now it's parallel to the ground. I think this is better. So I'm gonna lock it again. So this is the lock-unlock mechanism. So the next thing that we want to do is to make sure that when we tilt the camera down, it stays tilted downwards. If we tilt the camera up, Upwards, it stays tilted upwards so it's not doing that right now so to adjust that we have to adjust the height of the quick release plate so it's this one here this is the knob so twist it counterclockwise to unlock it so we just have to adjust it up and down so right now I'm gonna put it down okay I'm gonna try it the camera lens, the camera body goes down. We want it to stay in this position if we move it there. So we're gonna have to adjust it, push it up, lock it temporarily. It's not staying, so we have to make more adjustments. It's still not staying. Lock it again and try. Oh, so there it's staying now, facing upwards and facing downwards. So it's staying. So if I point it just 
45 degrees upwards, it should stay 45 degrees downwards, it should stay no matter which position you point it at it should stay pointing towards that direction. So that is how to balance the tilt axis. So after we've balanced the tilt axis, we're going to lock it. So here is the lock, lock facing forward. So the next thing that we have to balance is the roll axis. So for the roll axis, let's go ahead and unlock that first. The lock is here, oops. And immediately it moved down. So the purpose of the tilt axis is to control the camera's upward and downward motion while and the purpose of the roll axis is to make sure that the camera stays parallel to the horizon. Right now it drops to the left so we want to keep that parallel to the ground. So to adjust it we have to unlock this knob and move the gimbal sideways so right now it's still falling down to the left to the gimbal's left and that means i have to keep adjusting it so if you notice now it's even more lopsided towards the gimbal's left so i've been adjusting it towards the wrong direction so now we move it to the opposite direction to correct our mistake we just keep moving it until we can get the camera parallel to the horizon. Oops, now I've adjusted it too much. So move it back. Oops, too much. So even just a tiny movement could throw your gimbal off balance. Okay. So now it's more or less parallel to the ground. If I move it to the left, it goes back parallel to the horizon. If I move it to the right, it goes back parallel to the horizon as well. So now it's balanced. And now, lock the slider thing. We're gonna have to lock this axis again. Now it's locked. So the last one that we have to balance is the pan axis. The pan axis controls the sideways motion of the gimbal. So to unlock it, you just click the switch. So now it's unlocked. So how do you know if the pan axis is balanced? One simple test is to have the camera face one direction, in this case facing my left, lift the gimbal and then turn it parallel to the ground. So the camera moves, so it means it's not balanced. If the pan axis is balanced, I should be able to point the camera in this direction and when I move it here, it's gonna stay facing that direction. Right now, let's adjust the pan axis. Let's unlock the adju adjustment thing. I don't know what it's called technically, just the adjustment slider thing. Okay, I'm gonna push it forward to the extreme end. Okay, so have it face this way, twist it. So the camera goes towards the front to fall down. So I'm gonna adjust the slider thingy again. This time a little bit in the middle. It keeps falling down. So I'm gonna adjust it again. One eternity later. This way it's balanced. That's how you balance this Sony ZV-E10 with the Sigma 18-50mm lens with the flippy screen open. So let's unlock all the axes now. So the pan axis is unlocked. Now the roll axis there and now the tilt axis. It's balanced if it stays in the general direction that you point it towards. But this way, see, it stays like this. Okay. So it's now time to turn on the gimbal. Okay. So it's vibrating a little. I'll just calibrate it. Settings. And then I'm gonna tap on auto calibration. It's 
so it's going to be shaking a bit. There, and there you go. We can now use it. It's now balanced. See? And actually, you can extend the focal range of the lens and it will still work because the Crane M3's motors are strong enough to support it. But this is more balanced for the 18mm focal range, so let's put it back. But it's nice to know that your gimbal will be able to support it. It's just a little bit tricky with the slider thing to make sure that it's really balanced, but it's not super difficult. And with more practice, it's going to be easier over time. And when you're shooting on the road, it's a very good thing that Zion has a quick release system. I'm gonna turn it off first. Yeah. So just remove this and then put it back. And you almost never have to balance again. So if you're interested in any of these products, please check out the links in my description. And if you found this video helpful or you enjoyed this, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you again on the next video.